This video is about gradient or slope or the variable m. Your learning objective is to know and understand gradient. Say you see a, a symbol or a picture like this. What does 7% mean? 7% in this picture is the gradient of the road. It means that the road drops 7 feet vertically for every 100 feet horizontally. So if you look at it in another way, you will see that here's, this, here's 7 feet and here's 100 feet. In here, gradient is the steepness of a line. So let's take a look at this in another visual representation. Given all this vertical and horizontal lines, you see two points. And so then here's your vertical line and here's your horizontal line. What does the gradient mean in this kind of representation? Okay, so here is the rise. We call it rise or vertical. And so we count the number of units, one, two, three, and four. So that's it. And then let's look at the horizontal line and let's count the number of units. We have from here, one, two, three, four, five. So you have five units for run. And so for slope, we do slope or gradient is equal to rise over run. So the gradient is four over five. It's always vertical over horizontal. Let's use another example where you are familiar with. Here is the graph that you use in your exploration or gradient exploration, given the three runners. Okay. In that exploration, gradient represents the rate of change between two points. In that exploration, you were asked to get the gradient of points O to A and then A to B, O to B and O to C and C to B. So in that exploration, the two points, you did Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. Or when your O or point O is at the origin, you can just simply say the change of Y divided by the change of X. Okay? So let's use an, uh, an example. Given two points, points 3, 7 and 5, 19. So let's assign x sub 1 to 3 and y sub 1 to 7 and assign 5 as x sub 2 and 19 as y sub 2. So using the formula or the change of y divided by the change of x, we go 19 y sub 2 minus 7, which is y sub 1, the y coordinate of the other point divided by the difference of the x-coordinates of two points. So 5 minus 3, and to simplify that, 19 minus 7 is 12, 5 minus 3 is 2, 12 divided by 2 is 6, so the slope or the gradient is 6, or your m is 6. Okay, what is another way of finding uh, the gradient? If the, the equation is written in the gradient intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b, x being always the variable, okay, so that m, the coefficient of x, will represent the gradient, and b is the y-intercept. So, for example, you are given this equation. You look at the equation, the equation is in the form of y is equal to mx plus b or y-intercept. So you just look at the coefficient of x. So the coefficient of x is 3, so your gradient is 3. And then look at 1 half, that's your b, and b is the y-intercept, which is 1 half. Okay, what if... Your equation now is written in this form, 3x plus 5y equals to 10. You need to rearrange this form and make it to the y is equal to mx plus b so that you can tell what the gradient is in this equation. So from here, if we're going to change it, we would like to move 3x to the other side 
So we subtract 3x on both sides so that we will end up with 5y is equal to negative 3x plus 10. As you can see in this format, y has a coefficient of 1, not 5. So we need to divide both sides by 5 so that you will end up with negative 3 over 5x plus 2 because 10 divided by 5 is 2. So then this one is 2. From here, you can tell that the coefficient of x is negative 3 fifths, so the gradient is negative 3 fifths, and the y-intercept is 2. Okay, that's it. So go back to the guiding questions and hope that this video answered some of the questions there.